how to increase your value to college coaches. This is the Athletic Scholarship Podcast, episode number 152. Welcome to another summer edition of the Athletic Scholarship Podcast. I'm John Fugler, Athletic Scholarship Coach and a dad of two scholarship athletes. I'm also the CEO of Recruit Me, a podcaster, author, and speaker. And the sponsor of this episode is my book, The Athletic Scholarship Playbook, a complete college recruiting roadmap for high school athletes and parents. It's available on Amazon, of course, and you can also get the audio book for free. I'll let you know more about that in just a moment. Well, 4th of July is coming up. In fact, as this episode releases, just a couple days away. And here we are, into the dog days of summer. I remember a 4th of July weekend. was always It was always tournament time for us. Our boys were baseball players, and uh, there was a tournament on 4th of July, and we went. And so we didn't get much of a chance uh, to really get 4th of July uh, kind of as a family away, except we're away playing baseball. And you may be in that boat, too. Maybe 4th of July means a long weekend for you, which is actually good if you've set things up and you've got some college coaches who are coming to watch you compete or if you're going to be playing somewhere, competing somewhere where coaches will be. So 4th of July could be big for you. But we're in the dog days of summer here. This is the uh, summer recruiting series. I'm trying to keep you up and motivated and not to get lazy, not to fall away from the summer opportunity. All sports are out of season for college teams. So coaches are out there recruiting. You got to get yourself known, got to communicate. You've got to uh, be seen. If uh, you're competing somewhere, this is your great opportunity. Visit schools. Hey, listen to the episodes that we have done recently, and it sets you up for the summer. And in this episode, it's all about how to increase your value uh, to college coaches. I got five things to share with you that you can work on this summer uh, so you can really hit the hard ground hard running, hit the ground running hard. <laughs> Maybe just hit the ground hard uh, this fall. Anyway, it's things you can do this summer. But first, I want to give you a The uh, Athletic Scholarship Playbook Tip of the Week, it's about your profile or resume. This one sheet, which tells coaches a whole lot about you. But remember this one thing, this one tip. A short headline that jumps off the page is necessary. Communicating something unique and impressive about you. A short headline at the top of your resume, not just your name, Coach is going to be looking through these, going to be flipping through their email. They're going to be opening documents. And, man, you got to have something that will jump out at them and shout. Uh, so that comes from the Athletic Scholarship Playbook page. Uh, what page is that? Page 58. And I want you to check this out on Amazon and read it this summer. That's your assignment. I've given you assignments uh, already, and this is one of them. But uh, – So if you would go ahead and check this out, and if you want it free as an Audible audiobook, go to my website or click the show notes uh, for this episode. But on the resources page of my website, recruitme.com, if you sign up for a free 30-day trial of, uh, of Audible, then you get to choose a book, and you can choose the Athletic Scholarship Playbook. Uh, Parents and athletes have been going through this together. Uh, and you can too. Well, let's get into those five things that uh, will increase your value to college coaches. It's not brain. It's not uh, brain science, brain surgery. I don't know rocket science. <laughs> it says I'm having a hard time uh, today. But anyway, I've written these down, so I'm going to be really clear for you. <laughs> oh boy! First one is this: uh, improve your grades and test scores. Why is this? Because your value will go up as you're a better student. If you can prove to a coach that you got great grades, maybe you're already there, and great test scores, then you're going to increase your value because they're looking for student athletes. They're going to be able to handle the academics and the athletics. It's a, it's a real challenge. So if you improve your grades and test scores, you're saying something and a coach is going to value you higher as a recruit because of that. That's not the only thing, of course, 
but that is huge. That's one thing that will increase your value to college coaches. Second thing, and you're going to be surprised uh, at maybe what I'm going to uh, leave out of this list more than what's on this list. But the second thing is develop and show leadership qualities, leadership skills. Coaches are looking for leaders. If they're going to offer a scholarship, yeah, you got to have the talent. Of course, that's a, that's a given, but develop your leadership skills and show your leadership qualities. Your value will go up to college coaches. They're looking at the way you handle yourself in competition, how you relate to teammates, how you handle adversity, not just when you do well, but how do you handle yourself when you don't do well? And when you do well, are you humble or are you just a real pain when he looks at you and, you know, going that I, I don't like that attitude? Show leadership qualities. Uh, are you leading your team in some way? You don't have to be the captain, but you can develop leadership qualities and show them with your team and in your competition. Um, and, and so what I encourage you to do is get a good book on leadership. Uh, study leadership, listen to podcasts on leadership, um, understand some of the best athletes, maybe some biographies and, and how they developed their leadership qualities. Uh, learn about leadership. Maybe it's a leadership class in your, in your high school. Take that class. Learn about leadership and learn how to apply it uh, in competition with your team and in practice. So practice leadership, learn develop leadership qualities. That will increase your value to college coaches. That is, again, going to take you up a notch. Third thing that will increase your value to college coaches is being a, a multiple tool athlete. Multiple tool athlete. Um, what I want to say about this is you may love that one position that you're in and you do it well. However, when you get to the next level, you may have to play another position. That happened with our boys. They were outstanding pitchers. However, when they got to the college level, there were others that were better than they were. Yet, they could play infield and they could play outfield. They were able to play other positions, and they did. And it earned them more playing time in college. If you have multiple tools, well, you know, I take baseball, for example. You're a good hitter. You're a good fielder. Uh, maybe you're good at catching fly balls. Maybe you're good. Um, and maybe your, your speed, that's a multiple tool. Don't just specialize in one thing. Be a multiple tool athlete, but you know, can't spread yourself real thin. You can't play all the positions. <laughs> you know, if you're a distance runner, um, I'm not saying that you've got to be a sprinter and a high jumper as well. However, in track, as you know, if you are if you compete in track, if you can do multiple things, indeed, you increase your value, your value to college coaches. Not just doing multiple things, but doing them well. Be a multiple tool athlete. I want to say another thing about this that will help you with this. Being a multiple sport athlete also increases and enhances your athleticism. We've gotten to this day and age where kids are competing in sports year-round, that, that same sport. Uh, we fell into that with our boys in baseball after, after a while. But really, one, one, if, you're, if you're a single sport athlete, you're missing out on some things. Um, so I encourage you, as an athlete, play more than one sport. It develops you, it rounds you out as an athlete. It makes you a better athlete. Even though the, support, the sport that you love and you're competing in for a scholarship is, is not your number one sport, that secondary sport and tertiary sport, if you're playing three sports, that contributes to you as an athlete. Over and over again, I've seen that. So be a, a multiple tool athlete and even a multiple sport athlete. The fourth thing that will increase your value to college coaches, and I go back to the multiple tool and increasing the value, uh, that's obvious. If you can do more than one thing, the coach uh, signs you on a scholarship and can use you in more than one place. Uh, and they're looking for athletes who can fit in more than one place. 
Fourth, if you communicate clearly and effectively, it will increase your value to college coaches. Communicating clearly and effectively, it's, it's kind of like that leadership thing. Uh, are you one who is so quiet that you can't even carry on a conversation with a coach? Well, that's not great. Learn to communicate. There's, there's probably classes that you can take at your high school on communication. If not, again, listen to podcasts, go online, watch some YouTube videos, read a book, learn how to communicate clearly and effectively with coaches. And you, you may be trembling, it may be, you may be nervous, and that's hard. But I'll tell you, it'll increase your value because a coach sees you as a communicator. Uh, he sees you taking the initiative, and he knows that there's something special about you because you stand out as a communicator. So communicate clearly and effectively. That will increase your value. And then finally, um, the fifth thing is show your maturity. Of course, that communication point does indicate maturity, but there's more than that. It's that, it's that combination. It's that whole package. Are you mature? If they took a look at your Facebook page, which they can, they're gonna, they can see some posts. What are they going to see there? Are they going to see somebody who is not ready for college? Is they going to see somebody who's a goofball? Or are they going to see somebody who's mature? Go take a look and see what you've posted. I, that would be a good thing to do is go back and you may want to delete some of those posts and start posting differently. Show your maturity. You do that through leadership, and I've talked about that. You do that by taking the initiative coming to the coach in communication, uh, taking the initiative on the field, uh, taking the initiative in your competition, um, and overall communication shows maturity. Uh, another thing that shows maturity is what type of responsibilities do you have outside sports? Do you have a job? Uh, are you involved in some sort of club at school? I'm not talking about a sports club. Uh, are you involved in other aspects of life at that school? Maybe you uh, play an instrument. Maybe you sing. You know, you may think that these are the coaches aren't looking at that, but you're showing that you have responsibility. Are you? Do you have a summer job? If you can, if you have time for that, uh, there's things that indicate responsibility. Coaches are looking for responsible recruits. And that will increase your value to college coaches. So improve your grades and test scores. If they're lacking, that increases your value. Uh, secondly, develop and show leadership qualities. That increases your value. Third, be a multiple tool and even multiple sport athlete. Fourth, communicate. Be a good communicator, clearly and effectively. There's a podcast out called The Communication Guys. Uh, I would encourage you to listen to a few episodes of that. Uh, it's, it's not especially meant for athletes, but it talks about a lot of things as it deals with communication. You may find a couple of episodes that will really help you in your communication with coaches. And then fifth, show your maturity as a leader, taking the initiative, as a communicator, as one who is responsible. So there you have it. The ways that you can increase your value to college coaches, and that's why I said this summer you can work on these things. Hey, read a book on communication. Read a book on leadership. Spend some time in podcasts on those topics. Uh, maybe improve your study skills before you get going this fall. All these things that you can do that will contribute to your growth and increase your value to college coaches. Well, on the 4th of July, my wife and I are going to uh, get the kayak out, and we're going to find a lake around here in North Carolina. It's supposed to be nice and hot. It has been. Uh, but that's what we're doing. We're going to cool down for a while and get under some shade, too, and get a picnic going. So that's what our plans are for 4th of July. And I wish you a great 4th of July as we celebrate our freedom. Well, I'll talk to you next Tuesday. If you have any questions, please shoot them my way. John at recruitme.com and make sure you check out uh, the playbook, both uh, in print 
a Kindle, and then that free trial where you get a free audiobook from Audible. Find it on my website on the resource page. God bless you. Take care.